We were putting a lot of attention on Fournier. Obviously, he had a big fourth and big overtime. Uh, we wanted to put a lot of attention there. If we had any trouble him coming off that stagger, Domas was to stay high. So we may have had two guys running at him. Uh, he did a little shot fake, but Domas was there. And then he came back around and contested it again. Um, uh, yeah, did, I mean, it might have been a, a cleaner look than what we wanted to. We just wanted to make sure that we stayed down on shot fakes as well. Uh, I need to go. I need to go look at it again. Uh, but then on our end, you know, the guys kept playing. Uh, I thought we had a couple, couple good chances for good looks, and then the ball found uh, Malcolm Brogdon there, uh, right in front of our bench there on the right wing. So that was a that was a big shot. And our guys, they they didn't quit. They found themselves down in the fourth, found themselves down in overtime, and they kept battling back. Okay. 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 Let's keep it going. Is anybody else? Because I was going to follow up. How did it feel after you guys had the lead and then Malcolm's three was taken away? Did you have to tell your guys anything to stay focused? Because it seems like, you know, you're in the lead and then you lose it. Seems kind of a debilitating. Yeah, but, you know, the, the, the game was, was full of a lot of highs and lows. Man, it was a big momentum changer tonight. And that's for our guys. If, they, if, they, if the replay center said that he stepped out, then he stepped out. You know, that's what the replay center is there for. Uh, to check those. Uh, they're playing it by the rules. Our guys just knew then that they needed to string some stops together to get it back. It's just uh, it's, it's how this team is. They're, they're not quitting. They're not. They're, they're, they're fighting throughout every play, and, and no matter what happens, bucket or no bucket. Tony East. Nate, that, uh, that, that shot by Domas to tie the game at the end of regulation looked very similar to the game winner against the Celtics from earlier this season. Is that an intentional call to have him fake that dribble handoff, or is he just reading that play as it goes every time? Well, I don't, I don't want to tell you the play, but uh, um, again, a, a nice play by, by Domas. Um, good action by everybody else in the pace of their routes. Um, you know, good pass, good, good bucket, good finish. Though so that's that's the players. They are. Uh, um, I just thought the spacing and everything, you know, was in our favor uh, on that play. Nathan Edison. coach, uh, twenty-two points and nine rebounds for Miles Turner. How was you? How uh, were you impressed with him tonight? You know, just on his return coming off the injury. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to talk about Miles again. Um, first of all, very impressive tonight. Uh, on the way he played. Um, second of all, I said this pregame on just how tough he was um, saying that he was going to play tonight. Um, and then there's probably a part that you don't know about his toughness again. So I don't know when it was. Um, he was cramping up during the game. I can't remember the time of the game. And whenever I took him out, I think it was fourth quarter. But he's uh, uh, the trainers and, and himself wanted him out because he was cramping and he couldn't go anymore. And then we got locked down to that last 2.8 and he came into the huddle and he said, I'm playing no matter what. And the guy said, he's playing. So he came back in. It just shows you again, his toughness. You know, I probably would have just kept playing him the whole way through and he'd have had, I don't know how many minutes, 50, probably 45. So uh, just again, he showed a lot of toughness tonight. Any final questions for coach? Yeah, coach, can I ask you about uh, Jeremy Lamb? Looks like you rode the hot hand. I know he played late in that game. What did you see from him in terms of being able to get his shot? And it looks like he was in a really good rhythm. This is just the second game. Yeah, yeah, he did. Again, he was playing with a, a lot of confidence. Uh, we were drawing it. We were drawing plays up for him uh, to handle, to shoot. You know, he, he made some nice plays around the rim again. Uh, defensively, he was, you know, his length out there. I think we had, you know, all five guys, six, six and better out there for a long time. So it was a it was a, a, a lengthy, you know, physical lineup that we were playing. Uh, but Jeremy, he was, he was steady. He was good. He stays, uh, stays poised.